I want to say you spoke on something when you say you be in uh, Dallas and you done been in, in Chicago and all these different places. It made me think of, you know, Dick Gregory is saying, you know, black people, they don't know it, but they go to different dots throughout the country. You know, you got Detroit is a black part where only black people go is you go to Miami is only a black part where black people go. It's like we only go to dots. We don't explore, you know, other parts outside of the areas within any of those given big cities and stuff. It's just like the same dots all over the place. People's not really realizing that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's amazing, man. I travel all over the country and, you know, I primarily be in all type of community. I, I might stay in a secure area yeah. you know, where it ain't all that drama and all that, you know, that hood stuff, but I'm always in the hood. So I got I have the privilege of being in the hood. I have the privilege of staying in the auto communities, the external communities, and being able to see different things and different cultures and, and different statues and so on and so forth that, you know, the average person in those cities don't see. But the main problem with black folk is that, you know, we tend to stay in our geographical location. Yeah. Man, I'm in Chicago right now as we speak. I'm on the west side. Man, do you know his brothers over on this side of town where I'm at right now that ain't never been on the south side? Mm. Ain't never been to Milwaukee. Ain't never been to Mississippi. Mm. All they know is the west side. Well, that may be from our sojourn or from my heritage in Africa, you know, because we all used to live in little tribe. You call them docks or huts. We might live in tribe. It may be genetically connected or wired up that way. But, you know, these brothers don't never go nowhere. So I asked for the rest. I said, how you get to so and so? Man, I don't know, man. I don't know. Man, you've been living here 40 years and you don't know how to get five miles away? Hmm. Man, I don't go on that side of town. You know, yeah, so we do as a people, man. We do kind of like to huddle up, but we like to be in areas where we're familiar with. Yeah. But I, I'll be the first to tell young people, man, travel. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, if y'all listen to me, travel. See the world. Meet other people, man. Ain't nothing like it, man. Mm. Hey, man, I don't, I don't speak this in a bad way. But if I was to lead today, I wouldn't even be, I would, I, I wouldn't even be mad at God, man. Because God gave me opportunity to see everything that I want to see and more. Yeah, I've been to Hawaii. I've been in foreign countries. You know, I've been to you know all of the major exotic places. I've been to all type of museums and all I've seen all type of people, man, all type of culture. It's a beautiful thing, man, to travel. Hmm. So young people need to get out. You know, not like the movie. Yeah. Really get out. You know what I'm saying? Get out and see the world. Yeah. And uh, you know, just have fun, man. And you know, I mean, have faith, man, because a lot of times, man, you know, I go to these places, man, and you know, I got my little hustle, you know, so I can afford to do what I do, man, and I get up there. I don't know, I don't know these people from a can of paint, man, but, you know, people, you know, hey, man, they receptive, they the same everywhere you go. You know, you got good people and bad people. You know, you got, you know, players and you got suckers, man, and, you know, I meet a lot of players, man. A lot of them support me, buy my merchandise, and allow me to travel all over the world, man, all over the country. You know, it's a good thing, man. So, mm -hmm. yeah, man, don't just be on your little dock, man. Don't stand in one spot. Move around, you know, and get to meet people. I learned, one thing I learned when I was in the joint, man, is that we are all the same. I was in there, man, with brothers from Detroit, from D.C., from Chicago, from Iowa, from Gainesville, Florida, you know what I mean, from all over, man. It was brothers from all over the world, hmm. all over the world. And one thing I realized, man, upon talking to all those brothers and kicking it with them, man, that, you know, we all, we all the same. We all the same. We just, we may have a different accent. Mm -hmm. We may have a little different culture, but humanly, we all the same. Mm -hmm. Human beings are the same wherever we go. And I kicked it with white dudes in there too, man. Mm. You know? I mean, the white dudes that talk that white power, that air brotherhood stuff, man. Those were nothing but little car white dudes, man. They wanted to, you know, protect themselves. They didn't want to get, you know, their little booty snatched up. You know what I'm saying? So they got with a, a white racist organization yeah. that, you know, claimed to hate white people. You know what I'm saying? But even some of them dudes, man, you catch them when they ain't around their little crew and they ain't got to be little hit little followers or whatever or they ain't on their swastika uh, game banging shit. You know what I mean? They they cool as a fan, man. Mm. So, you know, people are people, man. You know, don't stay in one dock, man. You know, don't stay on one dock. Mm. You know, move around and see the world. Yeah. Now, I was going to say, what would you say for those people who, you know, who knows if they implement that draft and like, oh, you gotta come fight this this new war in Syria. I mean, you know, people are like, oh, you can see the world in the mi in the military too. But I mean, the way the world is, a lot of people don't like any kind of Americans. Hey man, 
There's only one organization that you see recruiting camps all over, and that's the military, period. The mm -hmm. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine. Yeah. They got recruiting agencies all over. You travel, especially in like rural America, man. You go down there, man, especially with them little uh, 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 rural white kids at. Yeah. They ain't got nothing but military recruiting uh, places down there, man. Mm. And that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? They recruit these poor kids that don't have nothing to lose, who don't realize that they're going to be putting their lives in harm's way. And they go down there and they join the Army and to these different uh, facets of military and some of them make it home some of them don't yeah. and you know the government know that they wrong because half of it we already got millions of troops why would you uh, force somebody to go to war hmm. but one of the reasons why they force people to go to war because it's a game it's a chess game yeah. that they play and we are the pawns hmm. and these young kids don't know no better man you running up into Syria man you don't know what them folks got over there you think they put some and they put some nerve gas on their own people what you think they gonna put on you <laughs> you know what I'm saying me but you know sometimes they force us you know to go and get drafted and go to the army but the real reason is for them to you know keep their little hustle going on keep their little scam and their little corruption and all the other shit they got going on that we don't know nothing about mm -hmm. you know and they use the young people as puppets and they can, they don't have no choice because mm -hmm. you know really you know it says a democracy but when it comes to war you know it ain't no democracy to join the army if you don't want to join the army then they send you to jail mm -hmm. I like I, I just recently listened to Dick Gregory where he said uh, uh, when he was talking about the Pledge of Allegiance and he said and, and, and to the Republic saying we're actually a Republic and he said it says it right in the uh, in that Pledge of Allegiance you know people don't pay attention to that part we're yeah not man this was a Republic this was a Republic it was a Republic government yeah and all of us Republic all of us conservatives you hmm. know their division came from philosophical differences. You know, that's where the differences come from. It's, it's a philosophical difference. It's not no party differences. It's just they have differences of opinion. Yeah. You know, they're all in the same party. They just have different philosophical opinions. Mm. And I think, you know, the word, like I was saying, the word conserve means to, to stay the same. And mm -hmm. that's why when you hear people say they're conservative, they ain't nothing but a cold word for saying that I'm a racist. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, a lot of people, of course, you know, remember this, you know, they... Everybody is not complicit. Everybody don't understand what's going on. Some people are just followers, but most people, you know, that understand the laws and understand what's going on, to say that they're conservative and they want to go back to how things used to be. Hey, man, who wants to go back to being a slave? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I don't want you to conserve nothing if it got something to do with slavery. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I'm trying to move forward, man. You should call yourself a forwardist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, we're going to move forward, man. We ain't trying to conserve nothing. Hmm. And then, you know, even some of the liberals, you know, the Democrats, you know, the Democrats ain't nothing but they got them, you know, they, they, they think it's a donkey. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A donkey is an asshole. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But the Republicans is elephant. You know, elephant, you know, they big as hell. Mm -hmm. You know? And, you know, we got to look at the signs and symbols and the strategies that these folk put down, man. Because, you know, there's always been a republic. There's a great republic of ours. If you listen to some of those old uh, founding fathers, you hear the word republic all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, this great republic of ours. Just listen to them. Yeah. Look at some of the moves. You know, we, you know, we, uh, people of the republic, you know, yeah, there's a republic. It was a republic then. It's a republic now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why they call itself Republicans. You know, if you, if you, if you live in Mexico and you leave Mexico, where are you? A Mexican. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if your mama was a Republican, your dad was a Republican, you know what I'm saying? Being, you know, you leave and go to another state, you still a Republican. Yep. You know? Yep. You know, the Democrats, you know what I'm saying? The only way they call themselves Democrats because they want to say they represent the democracy, freedom, you know, democracy. You know, so the Democrats is the opposite of Republicans, and the, Rep the Democrats represent freedom. What do the Republican represent? Slavery. You know, I'm a Republican, so you not a Democrat? Okay. See what I'm saying? So, you know, you just got, you got, you got to look at the whole thing, man. It's all gang. You know, uh, Donald Trump used to be a Democrat. Mm -hmm, yep. Now he's a Republican. You know, it's all gang. The, the best way I, I, I help, uh, Decipher the same between the both of them. My my boys like no, they're different. I'm like 
Well, say if uh, you, you you're facing some something in the court and you you're innocent. What's the difference from a a, a democratic prosecutor versus a Republican? They still want to uh, put you by, behind the jail. Oh no yeah, they all man, they all complicit, man. It's yeah. all that's oh, a, a movement. Once once people understand that it's a big movement and conspiracy, there's more poor white people than there's poor black folks. Any law that they make, they don't just apply to blacks; it applies to whites too. Mm-hmm. And there's more white folks on welfare than there's on than there's black folks. But these folks are so rich. That's why in them people world, it ain't black and white; it's green. So mm-hmm. they deal with green. They deal with green, not black and white. Hey, what's up out there, players and hustlers? I'm here to let you know that we are going to have a great time at Pimpin' Ken's birthday in Milwaukee, okay? This is happening at Mr. J's on June 30th and the Regal Sky Lounge July 1st. Yes, Ice-T will be in the building with all the players and hustlers for my man's birthday. That's right, Kenny Ivey, a.k.a. Pimpin' Ken. Church. Cool to come. 24-7.